Gary, pretty entertaining game in the end. What were your thoughts? Yeah, good to win. I think it was important. We said after Saturday, uh, which was a you know a brilliant win away from home, we wanted to back it up. We obviously made a few changes, some younger players coming into the team, which is always good. Uh, and it took a while, but I thought second half we, we came to life. Uh, we scored a good first goal and, and an unbelievable second goal. Disappointed with the goal we conceded, but I thought we deserved to win the game. And it was, a, like I said, a good uh, backup victory after a big win away from home. First half, I think we probably deserved to go into the break uh, ahead. What do you say to the players at the break? Yeah, I thought we were a little bit loose first half in terms of our pressing. The intensity of our pressing wasn't good enough. I think they want to kick out the stadium now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the intensity of the press was, you know, could have been better. We what we showed the players that uh, at half time, uh, we created some good chances w- without really opening them up. It was all half chances in and around the box, uh, but some of our player for Kami showed showed flashes again of of his quality. Uh, so yeah, I felt like you know we could have been leading at half time, but to come in at nil nil, we had some changes to make, and and second half was better. I'm used to the lights going off at an away game, but never a home game, but there we are. Um, what do you make of the performances of Liam Oakes tonight? He was awarded Man of the Match at the end. Yeah, he's got a Prosecco. I think he's too young for that. You give it to his tried... mum, can't he? Oh, did he? I was trying well, to get I it think, Well, he can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought he was brilliant. And I, I spoke to him when we took him off at, at Walsall and said, you know, these experiences you're going to have, good and bad in football, and you have to take them for what they are. Uh, and for him to bounce back shows the, the quality that he has as a player and as a character. Uh, so I was absolutely delighted for him. I thought some of his play, some of his crosses uh, was fantastic. He lasted the 90 minutes really well, which shows great fitness levels. So he can be really happy with, with his performance. And on the same night, Louis Kalis becomes our second youngest ever player as well. Yeah, bro, we wanted to get Louis on. He's, he's been great in, in pre-season uh, games and, and showed his quality. He's, he's still obviously an extremely young player. But I think these experiences, like I said, whether they're good or bad, obviously Oaks has had a, a difficult one at Walsall and he's recovered and showed his quality. Louis came on tonight, I thought he did excellent. He was always going to be challenged in terms of the physicality of, of Swindon, but he stood up to that, he got on the ball, he showed uh, bravery in possession and, and again this experience will, will do him the world of good. You've called Jack Aitchison the unluckiest footballer in the world before and it's hard to believe that's his first goal at home, but what a way to do it. Yeah, a brilliant strike, and I think you know, he was one of the players first half that you know I, I had to have a little bit of a go at. I think the world of Jack. I think he's a fantastic football player, and he showed it second half. There was a you know a bit of a kind of message I think to myself to say you know uh, this is what I can do. Uh, but some of his play second half, his goal was was outstanding, and that's what we want Jack Aitchison doing. We want him running forward. We want him shooting. We want him getting goals because when he plays like that, for me, he's one of the best number 10s in the league. Uh, but it shouldn't take me at half time to do that. He has to drive that and I was delighted for him. It was a brilliant reaction uh, and hopefully he can continue that goal scoring form. And also before that was, was the goal from Ed. Great for him to get his first, seem to be in the right place at the right time to just smash it in. Yeah, good for Ed. He's, he's probably fell out the team a bit, unfortunately, because of the, the way we've had to structure the... The formations and games we've had, he's, he's not had that opportunity to play as a double six. Uh, tonight, I thought he got in the ball, uh, he got forward to the edge of the box, which we always ask our sixes to do, to, to back up whether it's corners or open play. And uh, I think it was his right foot. I don't think he scored too many goals with his right foot, but uh, delighted for him that he was there and t- to get off the, off the mark in terms of goals, but also to get 90 minutes under his belt, I think will be really good for him. 11 days now until the next first team fixture, but of course there's the game against Norwich in the under-21 Premier League Cup before that. What's that sort of few days break, break, not the right word, but that time before the next game going to look like for the players? Yeah, it'll be different for everyone really. It'll be quite individualised. There'll be some players recovering, some players working hard, uh, some players preparing for the Norwich game uh, where we want to be competitive again and build obviously on the young players' minutes and their experience of playing in this stadium uh, and potentially other first-team players as well. I, I thought tonight, you know, Fitzy, having played at Bromley and not played much football, showed his, his quality uh, by coming into the team and training properly and being ready to play, and that's what we need from everyone. I, I thought Sweens as well was uh, superb, having you know played a lot of football, but led the team second half, kept pushing the team forward. So 
individually a lot of players would have, would have took a lot out of the game tonight, which is really important. And, and just finally, actually great to see Jay Bird with his first appearance. He's obviously been waiting quite a long time for that one. Yeah, good to get him on the pitch. We, we've tried a number of different things to get him up to speed. Uh, he, he had a little uh, injury that, that's kind of kept him back. Uh, but we've, we've kind of pushed him quicker this time and, and tried to get him on the pitch and give him minutes. And I think it was good for him to feel, you know, the the feeling of playing here, getting the getting the strip on for the first time, uh, and we'll hopefully build up his his training minutes and and match minutes as well. Because I think you can see his physicality. We've we've seen it in training. He he has a quality that that will be very useful to us if we if we can keep him on the pitch. Thanks so much, Gary. Thank you.